Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is tour time with Tyler and welcome to Del Mar. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is my link for resales. Up top is my link for new construction. You can scan it with your phone or go to the link. Both are completely free to use, so happy hunting. But again, before we get into this, actually, one more thing. I have started doing a giveaway again. I'm gonna be giving away a $25 Amazon gift card once a week. You have to like the video, you have to comment, you have to be subscribed. And then the following week, I'll put your name on the screen, I'll message you, you have to message me back in order to get that gift card. Let's check it out. I don't know if you saw my video last time, I'm also thinking about doing one more giveaway. I'm thinking about doing I am thinking about doing a big giveaway for 10,000 subscribers. We're not that far away from it, but I'm thinking about doing either one iPad Air or two iPad just regular ones. They're about the same price. So let me know down below, should I do one iPad or should I do two for that $10,000 or 10,000 subscriber giveaway? Now, today we are in the Southwest Las Vegas. Right there is South Point right over here is the uh, vegas strip i'm gonna put a map up so you know where we are we just toured this one and i also have a giveaway on that one i just started it yesterday so again you have to like the video you have to comment and you have to be subscribed in order to get it but i'm gonna be picking someone next week for that one right here again if you are thinking about buying new you want to buy new you are considering buying new make sure to call me first let me call the builders on your behalf let me email, let me go with you the first time because otherwise you're gonna be working directly with the builder and their associates. Their associates actually don't represent you. They represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. They're just there to facilitate the transaction. So if you want representation and fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission. The builder does. Give me a call. Again, all my info down below in the pin comment and the description. We are looking at a Pulte Homes today. This one is the Egan. It's 3,097 square feet, four to six bed, two and a half to four and a half bath, two car garage. This starts at 565, 880. Now HOA is 40 a month. Lots start at five to $30,000. Let's take a look. Now again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to subscribe and stay up to date. Once a week, I am going to be giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, I don't know if I'm gonna do one or two giveaway or iPads. So I know from previous models, this can be open. This will be more of your sitting room and then you have your more formal dining or your office space, however you wanna set this up. But this is one of the optional bedrooms. Again, you could do like a little sitting area right here. So we have the optional bedroom right here. I'm gonna guess, that this probably has at least $180,000 in it, maybe more. This has a lot of options. Normally you're gonna get your pre-wire cap. They did all of these extra can lights. In a room this big, you might not need it. In the bigger ones, it's definitely an option that I would suggest because otherwise the room gets a little dim. This is a full-size bed. We have two nightstands, a huge, huge window. Wow. Now, the cool thing is, when you do this room, it almost becomes like a nice guest room because it becomes an ensuite. I think it's like twelve, thirteen thousand dollars to do this option. We have our two door slider. Again, if you need more closet space, move it up, add a second one, and you have doubled your closet space for hanging. Right here, we have our ensuite. So it looks to be upgraded cabinets, upgraded countertops, upgraded faucet, and no medicine cabinet on this one. I know I always joke about it. Let's see. Just the bumpers. I always tell people, get that, and then go to Home Depot or Lowe's if you want the soft clothes because it is quite expensive through the builder. Right here now, wow, really nice shower. So they upgraded to tile. You have your shower head, you have your valve. Really, really nice. Normally that's gonna be a fiberglass composite material. So just keep those things in mind. These homes have a lot of options in it. Again, like so they count this in the price, all of the nice, is it tile? It looks like tile, yeah. Coming on in. Now this you can use as a couple different things. You can use this as formal dining. You can use this as an office space, den, however you want to do it. I kind of like this setup. And what I almost would do is put doors on it. Maybe if that was me, what would you do with this space? Let me know down below. I like it. But again, lots of options. They even put can lights in here. Again, normally just the pre-wire cap. Pretty nice. 
Before we see the rest of the downstairs, let's go ahead and head on up and we'll work our way down. It is really, really nice. Again, if you have any questions regarding this home or any other home, whether it's new or resale, give me a call. Again, all my info is down in the description and the pinned comment. So coming on up, we have this nice loft space. I know in the other models, this would be the sixth bedroom. So I'm guessing where, that's, where that goes. Ooh, this is nice. So obviously master primary suite. They have a whole sitting area over there. King size bed, nightstand, nightstand. They get it, can lighting again. And then how cool is that sitting area over there? You could do sitting, you do like they did, you could have the TV over there. So this is more where you sleep. I've seen people even put like Pelotons or ellipticals or the treadmill over there and turn it into like a little home workout area. But very, very nice. This room is huge with these nice big windows too. You can see just how big it really is. Coming on in to the bathroom. So upgraded flooring again, same cabinets as before, same countertops. Before we check out there, we have linens right here. It's nice, this is a huge vanity. We do have a medicine cabinet right here. I know people always joke about it. And then we have a very, very nice shower. They have the valves over here. That way you have your toweling off area, which <laughs> I always joke about this. This is kind of funny. We have our towels over here, our toweling off area over there and no towel rod right there. Hmm. You're gonna have to hike it or hoof it to <laughs> get your towel. I don't know, I'm a little confused. But normally what you do is you have your towel, uh, toweling off area here. You can turn on the valves and then you don't get hit with that cold water right away. We have our shower head and our rain shower head. <laughs> we have a bench. I always find it so amusing when the towel rod is like, what, eight feet away from the shower. We have our toilet and then right here we have our Really nice size closet. It's, it's really nice. Single bar, double bar, single bar, double bar. Again, if you need customization, they can do it through the builder. It's really expensive. I know a lot of people go California Closets, Closets Las Vegas, the Container Store. You even see people go to Ikea. But just note that they have that uh, available if you want to purchase that option. We even have a little balcony. I love this loft. Would you pick the loft or would you pick the bedroom? Personally, I feel like I would pick the bedroom downstairs and pick the loft upstairs. Let me know what you think. So again, South Point is right there. It's really nice having the loft. Unless you need the sixth bedroom, what would you do? Would you do the bedroom downstairs? Would you do the open area, the sitting area downstairs? Would you do the bedroom up here, the loft? It's pretty configurable, which is pretty nice. Really nice, big linen closet. First bedroom, and this is a good size bedroom. It's actually really nice, full size bed. We have nightstand, nightstand. You could ship the bed a hair that way and get a desk either on either side even. We have a dresser. Normally, again, what you're gonna get is just that pre-wire cap. The additional lighting is an additional cost. I love that these are nine foot ceilings upstairs. It makes the room feel even bigger because this room is actually really nice size for a secondary bedroom. Coming on into here, it's a fun bedroom. We have our walk-in closet, pretty good size, maybe four by five. It's very back to the future theme, <laughs> you can tell, it's fun. I know some people always ask, where do they get all the items they put in the room? And unfortunately, the sales associates don't know because they just buy from all over wherever they want. We have our upstairs bath. Now, one of the things I do like with this builder is when the door opens, you can't even see the toilet. So it's very clean looking. You get upgraded flooring, same cabinets as before, same countertops. These are not the standard ones, but we have our mirror and our medicine cabinet now. <laughs> I always joke about it because I don't know if you can tell, the kitchen's like right there. <laughs> so you're definitely gonna want some sort of window treatment. I call these the Vegas windows because otherwise you're going to be putting on a show. <laughs> not everyone wants to do that. We have our fiberglass composite tub. Normally it will be a fiberglass composite shroud around it. These are upgraded slightly to, it looks like maybe Petrofina or um, 
Cultured Marvel. We have our shower head, we have our valve and tub filler. If you want, you can even add a little soap shelf on it as well. They do have a lot of different available options. Right here, next bedroom. And again, nice size bedrooms. You could tell that's a good size desk. It's probably 40 inches, maybe even four foot. We have a desk, a full size bed. We have our nightstand. Again, they did the optional can lighting in here. We even have our dresser. You could put a chair over there in the corner if you wanted to. I love how big these rooms are. I love how big the mirrors are. But again, these homes have a lot of options in them. So you kind of have to pick and choose your battles because you want to make sure that the home appraises. At some point, they're gonna tell you, you've put too much money in the home and they're gonna make you come out of pocket to make sure that it will cover the cost. Big, big closet. If you have any questions about what I'm saying, again, please give me a call. It doesn't necessarily need to be about the home. If you have questions on how the market's going, what do I mean by making sure it appraises, please give me a call. This room is just as deep as the last one, but it's it seems quite a bit narrower. I think if you had the bed going this way, it would get pretty tight over here and you wouldn't be able to put the dresser, but full size bed, dresser, it's very long and it's a little bit narrow compared to the other ones. But again, it's pretty big compared to what I'm used to seeing out here. We have a nice walk-in closet on this one. It's very long. We have our dresser and then we have our walk-in closet and it's really good size in this bedroom. Coming on out. Now again, even like the railings, normally it's just gonna be a pony wall. So there's lots of different options available. You could really do these houses up. You could basically put nothing into it. You just tell them, I wanna do carpet. I wanna rip it out eventually, do it myself. There's a lot of different ways you can buy these homes. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, all my info below. And if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. I am doing those giveaways once a week. So we have our living room. It's really big that is an optional fireplace i believe they're like four thousand ish give or take the prices keep changing but it is not real it's not gas it's a holographic image so if that was real that would probably be a twenty thousand dollar fireplace we have a big window we have our slider we have our dining area and then a really nice kitchen before we check out the kitchen and everything we have our eight person dining table it actually fits really well i don't know if i'd go much bigger than that but while we're here, I wanna talk about the backyard because when you buy new, you need a budget for the backyard. It's not like this, it's gonna be dirt. This backyard, it's probably about $15,000, $20,000. Depends on the lot size. If you're gonna put a pool, spa, heater with landscaping, figure at minimum like $75,000. The pools have gotten really expensive. They're probably at least 50, maybe more. I know a lot of people who are putting pools in backyards and they're getting over 90 into that 100K territory. So. Love this kitchen. Actually, let's sneak around here really quickly. What do we have here? So right here, we have our powder room. So we have our toilet, we have our pedestal sink, and then, oh, nice. So that, ooh, it just keeps going. So there's a lot of storage in this home. That's pretty cool. So decent sized powder room, lots of storage. Right here, we lead into our mud room, our laundry room. Unfortunately, they always keep the garages locked. They use them for storage, so I can't get in there. And we have our coat closet right off the garage. Now, if you want, you can even opt for cabinets up above. This is what it's gonna be standard. If you want uppers that will match the kitchen, you can get that as well. It is an option. This is our smart panel. This is where you put the uh, router and the modem. It throws the internet out throughout the house. And coming back to the kitchen. So lots of upgrades here. They upgraded obviously all of the appliance package. They did the 40 inch uppers. They did the pendant lights. You can do all of that if you so choose or you don't have to. We have a little espresso nook area. We have again the 40 inch uppers. They have the upgraded appliance package. I like this with the four door. Right here is our pantry. A bit, oh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say it seems a little small, but it's not that small. I just wish there was a light in there. If I, is there? No, that would be my only complaint because if you're looking back in that corner, it's kind of dark. So you might need a flashlight, but I mean, I'm really nitpicking it. We have our microwave, our oven. You can even do double oven if you want another oven there. Now, 
they did upgraded uh, stone all the way around. That um, window is an additional cost too. We have our overhang on the island for our bar stools. And then you have a lot of cabinet space in this. There is quite a bit. You have all of these on this side. I was checking to see if there's more on that side. There's not, but you have all of the cabinets up. You have them low. We have our undermounted sink. This looks to be the standard sink. You have your window. Do you like the sink when it looks out the backyard when it's on the countertop or do you like the sink to be in the island? I always ask it and I always get a 50-50 response. So which one do you like? Do you like it here? Do you like it there? Where? We have our stainless steel dishwasher and another upper right there. All in all, pretty nice home. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. Also, don't forget, I am doing a once a week Amazon gift card, $25 gift card giveaway. I'm gonna be posting a video. I'm not gonna say when, if this is gonna be a giveaway video. You have to watch the video. You have to like and comment on that video and you need to be subscribed. Then next week, I will be putting your name in the video. I'll also be messaging you. You need to message me back. We'll share contacts and I will send you that digital Amazon gift card. Again, if you could do me that huge favor, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. If you have questions, all my info is down in the description below. And as always, Thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.